Hi, it's Chilly here from Earth Realms Readings. And I've decided um, to try and increase my video content for my YouTube channel. And I'm going to start doing a monthly vlog, which is kind of about what I've done each month. Like, so what I've done in January and February, etc, etc. So obviously this starts with January. And I'm going to take you and show you snippets of what I'm doing this month. So I hope you enjoy the snippets and enjoy coming along with me. Okay, January has so far been about giving my altar a good clean. This is my sort of nature goddess woodland themed altar with the green man and the goddess. Although I do identify as a folk witch that I would class as become, coming under the traditional witchcraft umbrella. So I've been giving that a clean. There's a couple of plants I have there, cactus, and this is a plant that my late husband bought me. Can't remember the name of it. And this is my working station. I live part-time with my mum. She's 91 and she obviously needs help and care because she's not very good on her legs. Other than that, she's fine. She's just unsteady on her feet now. So I need to be here to help her so that she has someone around because she does have a lot of falls. Um, so I also have a property up in Cumbria, which I now rent out. And... My caravan is where I live the rest of the time in Glastonbury. So I've also tidied up my ancestor altar. That's another job that's been done. And this candle is um, a candle specifically designed to connect with the ancestors. So those are the altars. Okay, so I thought I'd let you have a peek at some books I have. Um, this is on my reading stack, which is that very old chair over there. That chair dates to 1650, and I bought it at an antique fair. So these are some of the books that I've got to read. I thought I saw this one, and I decided to order it because I do do a lot of smudging, and I thought it would be nice to give this book a read. And then this book was a birthday gift, so I'm going to have a read of that one at some point. This book was also a birthday gift, and it is from this author who does some really great lectures over at Treadwell's Books. And you can watch for lectures via Zoom. And this is a wonderful book. It just go um obviously up to um Imolk. But it goes through the wheel of the year and it gives you exercises and it discusses the wheel of the year in times past, what we do. And it gives you like little craft projects to work on. So that is a really nice book and it's a lovely present as well. This book um, also came with some Christmas money. And again, this author does Zoom lectures on Treadwells. I'm, I'm actually going to her lecture and this author's lecture at, in January. So this is more folk magic. And again, it's I've not read it, but it gives you exercises and some folk crafts to practice. I would identify as an ancestral folk witch, um, which I would class basically as being traditional witchcraft that personally is for me it might not be for you so these are the books I've got for January I won't be reading them this month because it takes me quite a while to read a book so these are the books I've got so I thought I'd show you those as we continue our journey through this month Okay, so this is a garden. Got some winter pots over here. And it's looking sort of very 
dead. It is a bit windy, so I do apologise for the wind. We have a huge bush over there. I think, I'm not sure, but one of them's a hellebore, and it was a hellebore I grew um, about 30 years ago, and it has grown. As you can see, it's a bit wet. So. Where it's just slumbering at the moment and I've brought you around here because I'm going to work on this area because I'm going to grow all my vegetables in containers because they're much more easier to manage and this will be transformed into a lovely vegetable herb and flower area so that's a project that I'm going to be doing um, while I stay with my mother. I mean, of course, I will be have, have time, have half the time in Glastonbury, but it can still be seen too. So that's how the garden's looking at the moment. Bird feeder. And then I just thought I would show you some. Temperatures doing today. Uh, can't really read it on there. And then in here, and these are the vegetables. Um, all these are suitable for the containers. So I'm going to grow all of these, and then I have some sweet peas and snapdragons. And I've got to mention in this book, I got this almanac which is really good. Anybody that follows the seasons of year, it's a really good book. And um, I've got it earmarked because what I'm going to be doing is planting by the cycles of the moon. So each month is, is earmarked with what I need to do via the cycles of the moon. But I also follow the recommendations as well. So for this, it needs to be planted from February onwards, as do these pots. So I will follow that advice as well for the month, but it will be lunar based rather than sun based. I thought it's something I would try. So that's a tour of the garden and let's see what the rest of this month brings. Keep bird feeders out to feed the wildlife. This time of year, we've got snow today. into the local town to shop on this bright January morning. Let's also see some snow. So, it's just a quick glimpse that I'm out shopping. I've been to the supermarket and now I'm going to go and have some lunch. I'm also going to go to this really nice wool shop up here because I absolutely love knitting and I thought I'd do a bit of knitting. Nice and sunny.